Well, here we are again, folks. It's Brother Peter with tidbits from the Word. We're talking this morning about walking with the Lord in the daytime, in the light, in the light. God is light, and in Him there is no darkness. Do you know that the devil has always done things under the cover of darkness? And I remember back a few years ago in my sinful life that to sleep during the day, because I never was one to sleep in the day, but I still did my heinous things at night. Under the cover of darkness, men work at night. Still do. That we have a group today that sleep all day, every day. We have people today, it amazes me, I go by house after house after house after house that have the windows sheeted from the inside. They'll have aluminum foil on them or cardboard or pull down blinds with something else over that. You couldn't see in the house is a regular from the outside a no peak fortress. You cannot look in the house anywhere. They make sure there are no peak holes. And what goes on in most of those type of houses is done in the dark. Is done in very dim light. And is done. You can go into houses today that they've been uh, all types of stuff being smoked to keep the mind uh, sedated and going all crazy and, and envisioning things that are not real and, uh, and not a real life, to be honest with you. It's, it's a false life. And uh, I got behind a car the other day and uh, uh, the young man didn't realize it, but he, uh, uh, if a policeman got behind him any time, would, would, would definitely was going to be stopping him because his windows were so smoked up inside, you couldn't see in the car, and you could tell it was smoke about near running off from the windows from what had been being smoked in that car. And uh, But in the night is when the devil works, but in the day is when the Lord works. Everything that's done by faith in God is done in light. And we, we know that the time is at hand when God is fixing to come on the scene with a great shaking of this earth. And we can see the signs of the time. If, if not, through the earthquakes, the pestilence, the famines, and all the other stuff the Lord said, there's one thing we can see that backs up the Bible. And that is the day is going to get eviler and eviler and eviler. And that's where we are today. We're in a place where this little spot on this earth that we live in, I live in the United States of America, and this little spot has got so evil that it's getting the attention of God. And that attention is going to come and we're going to know it when he comes on the scene. Uh, we need to walk in a daily life and during the daylight, in the daylight, in the light, and walk without work toward not being spotted up by the world. Paul the Apostle said in Romans 13, for us to separate ourselves, to walk by faith, faith in God, and not in our own fleshly lust. And in 1 Thessalonians, he said, uh, walk in the Spirit. Now, the Spirit is the Spirit of God. Now, we've been walking in a spirit, 
But the spirit most of us have been walking in is not the spirit of the Lord. It's opposite. And it comes down to a boiling point of things on the surface may look good. Oh, yes, we have a car we can drive out of the yard. We have a job we can go to. But we have no peace of mind, no peace in our heart, no peace in our life. We may even draw a fine check every Friday. We may even have enough money to eat well and everything. It looks well on the surface, but there's no peace in our heart, no peace in our mind, no peace in our life. And no matter what we do, we can't make it come out at the end where it's a peaceful place to live. What the problem is, is we're doing it in the flesh and not in the spirit, and God's not blessing it. And so therefore, that is a problem. Now we ought to seek out the way of God. And you do that by using the Bible. Get in the Bible, start reading the Bible. We ought to walk in honestly, honesty, circumspectly to God. What is honesty? Honesty is something that used to be in the past uh, of the way people lived. A neighbor would tell another neighbor something and he would do it. It would be done. A neighbor would say uh, to a little old lady, I'll come by and where that pane of glass is broke out of your house and put one in tomorrow. When the morrow came, he came by and put a piece of glass in. Nowadays, you go by and there's a little widow with a piece of glass out, and she'll say, well, over the years, I've had a dozen people visit me, preachers and uh, lay people and all kinds of people, and they'd say, I put the glass in your house uh, this week or sometime. And here it is two years later, and none of them have performed. They're not men of their word. Be careful what you do with your mouth. Do you find yourself guilty? I'm Brother Peter. Do you find yourself guilty, Brother Peter? Yes, I do. Have you done that, Brother Peter? Yes, I have. I have told people I would fix something for them and not done it. Can you bring one up right now in your mind? No, but I can bring up in mind and I have told people I would do something and haven't done it. And that is dishonest. And so we need to be honest. If we're going to be Christ-like, if we're going to follow the Lord, we need to be honest. We need to follow through what we say with our mouth. Now, the Bible said that in the end time, there would be false Christ. There'd be people come along and say, I am Christ. Well, this world today, rather than to follow God by faith and to follow Jesus Christ by faith, they're looking for something in the flesh. And the Lord said, if you look for something in the flesh, the devil will give you something. He'll give you something in the flesh. He'll give you what you're looking for. And you keep looking for something in the flesh and you'll find something. But that's opposite. Jesus said, you find me by faith. And then I reveal myself to you. And he does. And so that's it. In uh, Second Corinthians, we find out it takes honesty to have a relationship with Jesus Christ. You must be honest with yourself and say, I am a sinner, forgive me, Lord, of my sin. Come in my heart, save my soul. Now you can start following Jesus Christ as your Savior. Open your Bible. Start reading in the book of John. Start reading in the book of Matthew and read... Ask the Lord to reveal to you what the Bible says. Get a good Bible. 